Hi guys I made this video to show you how to set up Dolphin. And if you ask me if it will give any viruses all I can say so far is no. Let's begin. First type Dolphin emulator on the search bar then click on the first link appearing. This will bring you to the Dolphin emulator website. From there access the download part of the site. This is where we can download the emulator. You can get it for Windows Mac or Android. If you intend to play a game with other people online make sure you all download the same version of the emulator. Download it and extract the folder of the emulator wherever you like. I will put mine on my desktop. Now to download games. I go on Vim.net since it is the only website that isn't filled with viruses and bullshit. Dolphin uses files called ISOs which are basically disks files. From the website seek the game you intend to play and download it so we can use it with the emulator. We will need to create a folder where to put these ISO files. Create a folder wherever you like on your computer. Just make sure you can find it easily. Once your game is downloaded, please put the ISO file in the folder we just made. Now open Dolphin. We will set up the directory path where the emulator can find the games. Go on config then paths and click the add button. Look for the folder where you put the game you downloaded then click OK. Afterwards your game should show up in the main window. Still in config go to general and make sure you check the box to enable cheats this will be useful in order to enhance games at will. Again still in config go to gamecube and set up a memory card in slot A. Now go to graphics then general tab. We will set up the source from where the emulator will take power from. If you do not have all these options do not worry just leave the backend to open GL. Check the box vsync if you have a high refresh rate monitor if not leave it unchecked. If you wish your game to be in full screen check the box. Now go to the enhancements tab. There you can change the resolution of the game and better the graphics of textures. All the boxes here are entirely optional, preferably leave them as they are by default. You can play with these as long as it does not hinder your game with lag. If you use OpenGL in the backend I suggest leaving everything there as it is. Now to set up the controller. Click on controller then click on configure. Make sure your controller is on before doing this step. Under device there shows all inputs plugged on your PC that can be used as a controller. If your controller does not show up just close Dolphin, connect your controller and reopen it. I will use an Xbox One controller to set up as a GameCube controller. It shows as X input 0 gamepad on the list. Now let's assign every buttons on the controller. On the left side you have the buttons of a GameCube controller. And on the right side you have the button it is assigned to on your controller. To change them, click on the box and press the button on your controller you want it to be assigned to. Do that for every button. For the control sticks, you will press the box and move the joystick to the direction mentioned on the left. You do not need to configure anything else than up, down, left and right. Do that for both of them. Don't forget to set up both triggers. You can set up the analog buttons but you don't have to since the GameCube controller do not have any. Once it's all done you can close it, don't need to save anything it will remain as it is. Now on the main window, right click on your game and go to properties. Then browse either AR codes or gecko codes. Gek. There is sometimes a code that will enhance the experience online to make it more enjoyable. If there is please check it and make sure everyone else has it checked as well before playing together. Now to set up netplay. Go on the tools tab and click on start netplay. Once you're there please make sure to set the connection type as traversal server. And of course make sure to set your custom nickname as well. There is a connect tab allowing you to join a room. And the host tab allowing you to create one. Let's host a netplay room for a game. It will open a new window where you have access to some settings and the room ID. As the host of a room please provide the room ID to your friends. In order to play together they will need this code to join your room. It is also possible to host a game by right clicking it from the main window. There is an option for it. You cannot join a room that is not in presence of a host. If everyone leaves the netplay room it will close. From the netplay room window you have access to network settings, allowing you to set the type of connection that will be used for the game. Since the online game will be dependent on the internet connection of everyone, if you believe someone you play with has a worse connection than yours, using the golf mode is preferable. You can get rid of the golf mode UI by going in other and unchecking show golf mode overlay. Once everything is set up and everyone is in the room, you may click the start button at the bottom left. This will launch the game for everyone in the room. And now you can enjoy playing your favorite games. Can I get the wall? Whoa! With your favorite people. Can I get another wall? Whoa! In an online call. Give me another one. Whoa! And have a good time. Call the ambulance. Whoa! This is so slow! <laughs> <laughs> you good, bro?